Welcome to this tutorial on using ImagePrint Red with the Cut It Out add-on for contour cutting. Today I'll be using the Epson SureColor T5770 printer and LexJet's Extreme Aquabinal as my printable decal material. Let's get started by dragging the PNG raster file into the layout. I'll resize the image to 10 inches by clicking on it, changing the width to 10 inches, and then clicking back on the image. Next, I'll set up the contour lines of the exterior of this file. I'll right click on the image and select contour. In the contouring window, I'll adjust the threshold slider on the right until I see the outlines appear around my image. Since I want to cut a circular shape that follows only the exterior lines, I'll select the exclude interiors option to eliminate the cuts around the inside of the logo. I've also included some bleed in my file, which allows me to cut into the ink slightly and prevent any white space on my sticker. To do this, I'll set my offset to negative 0.15, which will inset the cut line into the graphic. To configure my cutter for a kiss cut, I'll check the contour cut control and select kiss cut under the hanger size. I'll then adjust the force setting to 9 for LexJet's Extreme Aquabinal. Once I'm satisfied with the setup, I'm applying the changes. One of my favorite features of the red cut it out add-on is the ability to create step and repeat copies. I'll set it to create two across and two down, making a total of four decals, while also adding some space in between each copy. You can see that the contour cut applies to all four images. Now that I have everything set in the Cut It Out dropdown, I'll check the Epson SureColor T5770 properties to ensure that the correct media settings are selected. I'll also check the Save Roll Paper box to eliminate waste. Once I'm satisfied with the setup, I'll move the designs to the center as a group and hit print. The ImageRent Red program will automatically place the necessary registration marks and a barcode that the cutter will scan when the job is set to cut. When loading the cutter, make sure that the barcode is closest to the right front side, as shown here. Make sure to align the cutter's pinch wheels under the blue marks to the outermost edges of the material, and align the front edge to the front edge of the cutter. When you're satisfied, close the lever, and choose number 3 for sheet. The cutter will load and give you a ready status. Once the cutter is ready, I'll drag the job from the save queue into the scissors icon at the bottom of the spool. This action will instruct the cutter to scan the barcode and registration marks and then begin cutting. After cutting is complete, simply trim the graphics and weed away the excess material. You're now ready to mount your decal. 